Hello everyone and you welcome back to Orange Studios. Today we are going to take a look at how to do some flies or posters for this World Cup. Let's, let's jump in. So in preparing the background we are going to kind of erase this side a little and then after doing that we would select this, move to filter and apply some Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to use a font called long shot. Let's convert this to a shape, but first of all, let's make it big. Alright, so this should be enough. And now let's convert it to a shape. So right click on the layer, on the right side of the layer, and then convert to a shape. So that we can manipulate the sides. So I'm going to bring down the rule to guide our eyes on where to start the manipulation. So this should be okay. Let's zoom in. Okay, so we are going to use the direct select to the shortcut key is A. So direct select to and then we are going to select all these anchor points. All of them, make sure all is selected. All of these anchor points are selected. So we are selecting the ones here, and then we are going to drop all of that. So press and hold the shift key and the down key to bring them down. So now at this point we are going to try to blend the image into the background so that it picks up the same temperature and looks very well blended into the background. We are going to use curves to do that so we come over here select curves and then these three buttons here will help you do a quick one and then you can later adjust to make it perfect so this one helps you sample um the dark part the darkest part of the image this one somehow mid-tone and this one the highlights so let's zoom out and then we can have a good look at what is happening so we are going to select this, make sure we click on this so that this is clipped to this. We pick the darkest, darkest part of the image is somewhere down here. And then immediately you see that 
there's a bit of change let me turn it off so you can see there's a bit of change which we can address a bit later now let's move over here pick this and pick somewhere in the mid zone so let's pick this all right let's try and pick a much closer one so this would be better okay so this is much better all right so now that we have this let's do some adjustments we can move to the red and edit just the red the objective is to make it look a bit warmer So this is the before and after, before, after, before and after, you can pay attention to the arm, before and after, before, so that is how to blend the background into, uh, the image into the background, I mean. Right, so now we want to throw a glow effect on the Jesse number and somehow the name probably some parts of the green that stands out a little we want to make it stand out more so this is how we are going to go about it select color range make sure you've selected the picture right so now we are going to pick a color so we are going to pick this color and so you realize that that green is selected Okay, so we are also going to add this portion to it, but that could affect us. So let's undo and then we would subtract this and let's just increase the range. So this is right, right about cool. Okay. So we are going to use this quick selection tool probably to help us select some aspects. Now the reason why we went through all this process is that this will help us select some regions all at once and then we just smoothen out the selection with an easy selection tool or the quick selection tool.
Alright, so this is how far we've come. Uh, this is it. Hope you enjoyed it. We did some few tricks. You can better them while you practice. And stay tuned, there'll be more of this kind of a content within this World Cup season. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.